Hiya, hopefully this is recording. Um, I seem to have lost my, my thing to say it is. Uh, I made a mistake, I think, on the um, on the first video that I did. Uh, I think I possibly thought I'd paused it when I didn't and then re-recorded it and it all just went wrong. So I'm really, really sorry. This is a bit of a botch it job though because I haven't got access to SmartBoard properly and I can't write on it and stuff like that. So this pack, it's the first lesson of the second year trig stuff. Uh, and it looks at, first of all, something called radians. Now, on your calculator, you've always had radians there. Um, but it's, um, it's just a different way of recording angles, that's all. Just a different way for measuring angles. So instead of going between 0 and 360 in degrees, it goes between 0 and 2 pi in radians. I'm a little bit paranoid that it's not working properly, so I'm just checking the... the yeah, so my volume levels are fine, that's cool. Right, so I think I can highlight as well to, to give you a good idea of what I'm doing. Now, you've always known about radians, but you just haven't realised you've known. Because the circumference of a, a circle is C equals 2 pi times by the radius. And that 2 pi represents travelling round the circle. So we know that 2 pi is 360 degrees. Which leads to this little bit here, if I can highlight it, there. Which is ridiculously important. Because all it means is that... There that pi is worth 180. So from that, you can work out, you can convert any angle you want. So if you wanted 90 degrees, because pi is 180, pi by 2 would be 90 degrees. In fact, it's down there below. Right, now then, the proper definition for a radian is the angle created at the centre when the arc length here is the same as the radius. So that's the definition for one radian. It's the angle created when the arc length is the same as the radius. Now that's what the, the definition here says, it just looks a little bit different. Right, let's zip on then. Uh, so it says approximate the size. So you might look at that and think, oh that's about 30 degrees say. So if I did 30 divided by 180 and times it by pi because it says uh, where are we uh, yeah dividing by 180 times in by pi that's what changes degrees into radians so I might look at that and say it's roughly 30 degrees so 30 divided by 180 times by pi and see what your calculator gives you because this is just approximate you might say that that's about 120 maybe a bit more what do you reckon maybe about 150 who knows um, then you could do it as just 150 I don't know divide by 180 times by pi and see what you get out and for that one you might say it's 210 220 and you divide it by 180 and times by pi these are just approximations that's all it's just an idea right so for this part here, I'll do it to the top so we're not hidden. So converting from degrees to radians, so I told you it's divide by 180 times by pi. So 90 degrees becomes pi by 2. Now what I tend to do is I write rad, 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 rad next to it. You can use, you know, like a degree sign, but as a little c, but people get confused with that. So just stick to writing down rad. If you do that all the time, then it reminds you. Just look, see, look, rad. See this rad here? It just reminds you it's radians and degrees. So it reminds you to make sure your calculator is fine. Right, so 60 degrees, so it's divided by 180 times by pi. 39.2 divided by 180 times by pi. The important thing here is these two, oops, these two answers are exact in terms of pi, whereas this is just a number. It's the same though, isn't it? Right, going back then, radians to degrees. If I'm going back, I just do the opposite i times by 180 and divide by pi so 3 pi if a times by 180 and divide by pi gives me 540 degrees uh, pi by 4 times by pi oh hang on, it's upside down <laughs> we spotted an error sorry it's a times by 180 divided by pi isn't it that's what it says